The speed S in kilometres per hour of 100 vehicles passing a point on a road were checked. The results were given below. Speed from 0 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100. And here we've got the number of vehicles, which is 10, 11, 22, 26, 17 and 7. Write down the midpoint of S between 70 and 80 interval. Using the GDC, estimate the mean and the standard deviation of the data. C. Write down the number of vehicles whose speed is less than 60 km per hour. D. Consider the community frequency table below. Write down the value of A, B and C. So we're going to find A, B and C from a community frequency table using this. E. From the graph, estimate the median and the number of cars travelling less than 55 km per hour. F. All drivers whose speed is greater than one standard deviation above the speed limit, 55 km per hour, will be fined. Estimate the number of vehicles who will be fined. So, first of all, rearranging this table, and we, what we need to do is find the midpoints, just so writing all these out. Now, the midpoint of this one is going to be, if you do um, 80 minus 70, that is 10, half of 10 is 5, 70 plus 5, that gives a midpoint of 75. So this one is a bit different because its width is different. This one, the, the midpoint will be 25. So writing down all the midpoints and then writing down all the frequencies and then going to our GDC and putting that in one column and this in the other column. So going to the GDC, setting a spreadsheet mode. So relabeling this here. S and label this one F and then writing in here 25 now you can't do fill because the next one is actually 55 and the one after that is 65 so not going up the same but if you highlight these two only you could do this although it might be just as easy to type them in so control sorry to uh, to highlight shift down control menu number four fill and then scroll down so it'll be 75 85 and 95 press enter scroll back to the top put in the frequencies which are 10 18 22 26 17 and 7 so the line up OK, go scroll to the top and then to get the data that we want menu, number 4 statistics, number 1 stat calculations, number 1 variable statistics number list 1, press OK and then put the X list as S as the speed and the frequency as F and it will put the results in the first available column which is C, that's OK and press OK and we get the results that we want scroll down here because we're going to want that standard deviation so just leave it on that one for a moment and then we can now go back so there's a screenshot so the estimate for the mean x bar sigma xf over sigma f this is s because grouped data so this figure here comes from this one here 6730 there were 100 altogether so we need to divide by 100 and the answer is going to be that. So put some sort of working out and put in the units kilometers per hour. The standard deviation is the square root of sigma f x squared over sigma f minus x bar all squared. So that's going to be equal to sum of f x squared is going to be that one. So 485,900 divided by sum of f, which is 100 from that one, and minus 67.3 squared. Now we can just check on the calculator if we scroll down a little bit here. That we do have actually have the sum of frequencies is 100. 
So that's going to give me that standard deviation, which is 18.2 kilometers per hour. You make sure you check, take the correct standard deviation, which is this one, sigma x, not, rather than this, this one. So it comes with, up on position number six on the table. Make sure you take the correct, correct one. All right, the number less than 60, or well, less 60 will be 10 plus 18 cars, 10 plus 18, which makes 28. We've got the community frequency table, so this one we make by 10. A, we just calculated, that's just 10 plus 18, which gives me 28. This one here, B, will be 28 plus 22, which will give me 50. And this one I get here by doing 100 minus 7, which will give me 93. Right, having got that information, I can now draw a community frequency curve. So just writing down the table. So there's the table, less than, and these are the community frequency values from the table in the previous part. Drawing the vertical axis. The vertical axis must always be the community frequency in an exam. And then along the bottom, we have the speeds going from 0 up to 100 and labeled. Both axes are labeled. So we need to plot 50 against 10. That's going to be there. Uh, 50, uh, 60 against 28, which is going to be there. Each one of these is worth 2, so you need to work out what they're worth. 70 will be 50, that's quite easy. 80 will be 76, which is there. And then 90 will be 93, which is there. Okay, so it's one, one, one and a half squares there, and then 100 will be 100, and then join them up with a smooth curve. It goes through 0, 0, this one. Join them up with a nice smooth curve. We're then asked to find the median. So the median is the middle value, so the 50th car. So that will be there. Draw in Now, you must draw in dotted lines on your graph showing how you've got your answers. So this is the median, and then scroll down and get 70. So a line here, so this is 50. The median, because 100 all together, halfway point, and down and get 70. You need to see that on your graph. So E, the median, is equal to 70 kilometers per hour. The speed limit was 55, so we'll find 55 here, and scroll up, and then 20 cars number of cars less than 55 is going to be 20 vehicles all these cars here were traveling less than the speed uh, than 55 which is actually the speed limit now the last part part f 55 kilometers per hour plus one standard deviation now we calculate the standard deviation in part b to be 18.2 kilometers per hour so we need to work out number of cars which were traveling more than 55 plus 18.2 so that's more than 73.2 kilometers per hour so we need to find 73.2 kilometers per hour so we could just do probably 73 accurately and then draw a line upwards and then read along and we're going to get 59 so all these cars above here are going to get fined. These drivers are going to get fined. So how many drivers are there here? Well, it's going to be 100 minus 59. So the number of drivers is going to be 100 minus 59, which is going to be equal to 41 drivers. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to calculate the estimate of the mean and the standard deviation and how to use a community frequency curve once it's been drawn.